So these roundabouts are used on uh, Ipswich tests. Some of them are a little bit awkward. Um, so this one, yeah, not the best. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go round it. So you can see, basically, in order to go round this roundabout, so people often confuse the lanes here. Well, you often see people not using the lanes correctly at all. But uh, basically, if you're going to go round it, you need to stay in this lane. However, you literally, if you come into this part, just about see the road marks here, you've now got to continue around. So I can't exit on that junction, and I can't exit on the next junction if I'm in this lane. But as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. I just do a loop round. So if you get in the wrong lane, just go around again. Um, I'm going to go back into this section. And then I'm going to come off from this exit. So if I'm coming off here, I need to make sure I don't go back into the other section and come round. And then that takes down to the next roundabout. So this next one, depending what angle you're coming from, it's a little awkward because it's got lanes on it and the awkwardness is actually trying to get off it and where you position the car. So I'm going to go right into the industrial estate on this one. Um, You are going right really in order to get off you need to position yourself across into the left lane so the same when you're coming around in this direction so as you come around here you need to keep your right signal on check your around to the left make sure there's no one there but you need to let the car run out to this lane over here then swap to a left signal in order to bring it off um, otherwise people will come off the other junctions you basically it's pretty dangerous to do anything other than that on that particular round And then just coming up to it from the other direction, so it's the same thing. So you can just be starting your test coming onto this roundabout, turning right. So as you come up to it, you've got to position yourself and checking your mirrors, driving it across into this section. It's awkward because when you come round and then left signal, people might think you're trying to um, actually turn left. It's why you keep the right signal on. So you just got to make sure. Using those lanes correctly in order to get off. And then the next roundabout we come to is also a little tricky. So as you come down to it, uh, you might just go straight across. So that means you need this lane. And interestingly, though, the car can run the roundabout with no signal. This car didn't move, although he has another big gap and he still didn't move. So, lovely big gap now. So you go over to the left because that's where you should be. Signal left. But then when I come onto this, I need to check my mirrors, put my right signal on, move to the right in order to turn right on this half roundabout. Then as I come, slow it down, swap to a left signal, show that I'm not going to go all the way around, and then bring myself back in. So, as I say, it's a little bit tricky, but pretty straightforward in terms of, you know, just making sure you position yourself correctly. But you need to just practice these, make sure you're actually positioning the car correctly and reading the road. You should be able to drive these roundabouts anywhere in reality as long as you can read the road properly, but uh, it's all about making sure you can see what's correct in front of you. And then just coming back up to that same roundabout again from the other direction. So as we come into it, I'm going to go into this sort of half roundabout that comes out of Sainsbury's. I'm going to go left because obviously I can't go the other way. Um, but then I want to take the second exit on this roundabout. So I need the left lane to do that. Right lane is right only. And I'm bringing it up. So left lane, no signal to go across. I'm just waiting for a nice gap. So here you're looking for cars from the right, depending which way they're going. Cars from the straight ahead and cars from the left. Left signal to come off. Yeah, so pretty straightforward, I would say. Um, and then I'm going to turn right on the next roundabout. So that means I need to get into the right lane just after the bollards. So it's a mirror check. Bringing it across and then it right signal. So it's actually the fourth exit. You can turn it right here. So I'll pop 
my signal on now. I need to make sure you don't block the crossing, but it's got red anyway. So as you're coming up to this, just make sure you're watching all of the cars coming around. So essentially, when you look at them, when they're coming around, if they're over to the right, as you see it, they are going off because that was the lane that I've just shown you used to go down the exit that I've just come out of. So in order to go around here and come off on here, you need to make sure we move it nicely across so we're nicely positioned. And then the next roundabout, I'm going to go left. Now people often make the mistake here of not going into the left lane because they see the bus stop. Now you can drive through the bus stop. It's not a bus lane, it's a bus stop. It's fine. And then left signal obviously to go around to the left. So yeah, make sure you don't make the mistake of driving along in the right hand lane and then trying to turn left because you think you can't drive through a bus stop. Now as we come up to this, I'm going to follow Felix to A14 on the signs. So you can see there's the third exit to the right. Generally you choose the right lane, but here the next sign, which is hidden by the first one, tells you it's the left lane for the A14. So do the road markings and so does the sign on the roundabout over there. So you're going to bring it up. Now you've got to be super careful here because people just use the wrong lane all the time. So I'm in the correct lane. Use the right signal if you need to, if it's beneficial. I'm just going to pop it on to make sure this Volvo doesn't pull out of me. And then we're going to come off here. Car next to me didn't try and cut across. They sort of look like they might want to. Um, and then down to this roundabout. So remember, this is the third. So yeah, odd that you're following the left lane all the way round in order to get to the third exit. Um, it's yeah, a bit of a strange one there. And then on this one, I'm actually just going to go round and back on myself. Um, again, so the left lane is going towards Felix, so the right lane towards Colchester. Um, when you come round this next roundabout, it's fairly reasonably laid out. Um, but basically, if you're going towards Colchester, you have to run wide here and not come into this bit. So I'm cutting into this bit of the bat as you drove into it. But if you come into this bit, you need to go around the roundabout. I'm going to come back off towards the town centre. Um, but if you cut into that section, you then cannot go towards the A12 um, because you're in the wrong lane. So you either go around the roundabout again or you come back down here. But you can't turn off to go towards the A12.